Today is February 2nd, the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate of, in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was eighty-four. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As I hear this gospel today on this Feast of the Presentation, as Mary and Joseph fulfill what is required of them in the law as faithful Jews. We see the hand of God at work. We see the divine. We see the human. And we see uh, Simeon and Anna and Mary and Joseph and Jesus all working uh with the Lord, with the Lord. Simeon was filled with the Holy Spirit, so we know the Lord was upon him. And he has been waiting and was told that he would not see death until he saw the Christ of the Lord. And this day he came into the temple and Christ was presented. And he acknowledges that. The same way with Anna, who was praying in the temple night and day. She too witnesses the presence of God, and she speaks about it to all. Simeon speaks to Mary that her heart, as it says, uh, you, a, you yourself a sword will pierce. We know that Mary also would suffer the, the death of Jesus in the death of Jesus. We see God at work in this, the divine, as Jesus is presented, as he is revealed to those in the temple. But we also see the human. Uh, the child's father and mother was amazed at what was said about him. You as parents out there uh, who are watching today know that when someone said something wonderful about your children, how that was always a real blessing. But also it says they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. It's like, okay, we go back to our daily living. We go back to our daily living. God works through us in our daily lives. God uh, shows us the peace and joy and love that only he can give. I think it's important when we recognize that, when we see God working in our lives, that we acknowledge that and that we give thanks to God and we proclaim that good news to one another.